Hey everyone, it's Mike. Um, last night, Maddie and I talked about how today we would wake up really early and have a really productive day. Um, so hopefully I can get a lot of studying done and then get some chores done, get some exercise, cleaning. Um, oh, what's up? Uh, <laughs> All right, so it looks like Maddie's up as well. Um, we're gonna kind of walk you through the day with us, kind of take you along for the ride, just so you can see what we do during a really productive day. Yeah, so we're both studying a lot right now. Uh, I got my boards coming up in a few weeks. Mike's studying for his boards too, which are coming up this summer. So mm -hmm. definitely a lot to do. So today we're going to be studying in sessions using a timer, um, Pomodoro, basically studying for 25 minutes and then taking five minute breaks. And this has been very useful for us because for those 25 minutes, we're going to be just laser focused on one single task. So Maddie and I are going to be doing practice questions throughout the day and we'll see how many sessions we can get in. We'll be using an app called Forest, which will really help us keep track of our sessions. I'll talk a little more about it later, but for now, let's get started. So we just finished a session of studying and I think we're needing some energy. Need some energies. Let's get some tea. Energies as handheld energies. <laughs> so it's been pretty nice having Maddie in the house because we're usually always on the same wavelength when it comes to studying and being productive. And one thing I found incredibly helpful is if you have a buddy to study and be productive with because they also help keep you accountable. Go Rams. <laughs> you see you. <laughs> <laughs> That's our medical school. All right, we got our energies, we got our energies in hand. Back in business here. You, you want to go for another session? Or? Uh, I mean, I guess so. Feeling pretty good. Why not? All right, so Pomodoro, another 25 minutes. Yep. Let's do it. Maddie's gonna go make breakfast right now. And one of the things that I noticed that really works for us is delegation. Basically, we divide up the tasks that we need to do so that we can get more done. So some examples of chores and errands that we divide up are uh, cooking, dishes, cleaning, garbage, laundry, um, grocery shopping, uh, mails and packages. But obviously, your study buddy needs to be okay with doing your laundry and your dirty underwear. So, in the kitchen here, cooking up Maddie's uh, deluxe special. We got some toasted bagels, got eggs, gotta put the eggs on top, maybe with a layer of cream cheese or some melted cheese. Throw some smoked salmon on it, put some herbs on it, some tomatoes on the side. You know, eating like kings here. So for breakfast, we probably don't wanna have too much food. Um, since we are trying to be like really productive today, it's probably not a good idea to like have too many calories and then go into like a food coma. I really like cooking. I wouldn't say I'm like an amazing chef or anything, but it makes me feel good when I'm doing it. And one of the cool things that I like about cooking especially is because I get to decide exactly what goes into my body, uh, decide all the ingredients and stuff. All right guys, it is my turn. I am up. I mean, doing the dishes is pretty easy. All I do is take these dishes and I just put them in the dishwasher right here. Oh, from last night. Uh, I guess doing dishes also means putting this away.
So I'm using RemNote to study right now. It's definitely my favorite study app because it uses the best scientifically proven study strategies. So basically whenever you take notes in RemNote, it automatically turns everything into flashcards with spaced repetition. That way for things I don't know well, I'll see them more often. And for things I do know well, I'll see them less often. But my favorite thing about RemNote is the workflow. So I'm a pretty messy studier. I normally write down notes and I spend a lot of time digging through my folders to find where I put things. But RemNote is very forgiving in this aspect because it allows you to work pretty much in any document and you can pull information from anywhere at any time. So it's kind of a weird concept, but it allows you to study very organized without having to worry about being organized. All right, so we've gotten about four Pomodoro sessions under our belt at this point in the day. Um, I think we're gonna take a little break from studying and go into some exercise and then stretch after that a little bit. Sound good? Let's do it. Yeah. Did you solve that? Okay, so now it's time for us to do some exercises. So we generally like to pick exercises that target large muscle groups because we're gonna be working out at home. So we're gonna be using our own body weight. So some example exercises that we do are push-ups, pull-ups, squats, um, lunges, burpees, and mountain climbers. So we just finished our workout, doing 10 sets of everything, and then now we're gonna head into some stretching. And just like what Mike was talking about earlier, we're gonna try to target all the big muscle groups that we use. Definitely gonna try to hit the back too today because we're pretty much gonna spend all day sitting in that chair and sitting there for a long time really hits my back. So let's get to some stretching. So we're gonna start with some child's pose. Then we're gonna go into some plank, downward dog, forward folds, and then we're gonna do some up dogs and just some overall hip stretches as well. So the protein that we've been using lately is this uh, Orgain's Organic Protein. Uh, it's from Costco, we just picked it up. Mm -hmm. So recently we've been switching to a more plant-based protein just for personal preferences. Mm -hmm. But mainly this one's cool because uh, it's got this right here. One billion probiotics. <laughs> One billion. One billion. So one of the apps that you'll see us use throughout the day during our Pomodoro sessions um, is called Forest. And it's one of my favorite productivity apps because um, it basically does two things for you. The first thing it does is that it acts as your timer. So you can set a Pomodoro session for five, 10, 25 minutes. The second thing it does is that it tries to prevent distractions from your phone. So let's say when you start a session, at the very beginning, the app is gonna plant a seed. And then at the end of the timer, it's gonna grow into a tree. And so at any point during that session, if you exit out of the app, then the tree's gonna die. So that's the reason why the app is called Forest is because if you have a lot of successful Pomodoro sessions, then you will be rewarded with a lot of different trees and then you can grow your own forest. And Forest is one of the oldest Pomodoro timers, but nowadays you can find many similar apps with different themes. Some of our favorites right now are Mars Craft and Study Bunny. Okay, so I'm going to postmate some lunch. It's called delegating tasks again <laughs> so that we can get more done basically yep um probably gonna go with something healthy hey what do you want something healthy yeah all right boy, what you <laughs> got some we got here? some snacks it's a lot of laundry to do this is uh the ultimate delegation right here to make you do all our laundry <laughs> So when I need to get into like laser focus mode and I'm studying or like I'm writing a paper, 
Uh, I prefer to listen to Deep House or Progressive House just because there's no vocals in it usually and there's a four on the floor kick drum that's always going on and that keeps my heart rate up and it just puts me in like a state of trance almost like I just feel like I can work so hard so fast. I feel like a hacker <laughs> if you can kind of picture that in your mind. But if I'm working on something more leisurely, I'll prefer chill hop, lo-fi, or classical music too. Like I have a friend who just studies in complete silence for like five hours, and I'm like really impressed that you can do that. But for me, having a playlist is um, super helpful. All right, guys. So timer just went off again. We're on another five-minute break right here. Five minutes. Uh, that was session number eight, I believe. Um, so we studied for about four hours now. Um, and I'm going to use this break here to start preparing some dinner. Um, gonna put some rice in the rice cooker, take some food out to thaw, see what we got here. Yeah, we got some uh, salmon here. I'm gonna go ahead and start thawing it out since it's frozen still, but... Hydration station here. Hydrate. <laughs> <laughs> Guess what that's from? Boy, that like Yeah. <laughs> Cortina, eat the Why food! Why are you so sweaty? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Timer went off. I don't know if you know. What's up? Timer went off. Oh. Yeah. Nice. I was like... Break time. I guess oh. you're, in the, you're in the zone, so... I know. Dang. You didn't matter. Disrupted my flow. <laughs> <laughs> Threw up my groove. <laughs> Threw up my groove. <laughs> <laughs> So at this point in the day, I'm pretty done with studying. I don't know about Mike, but we got through quite a few Pomodoro sessions there. Um, pretty right? tired. Yeah. yeah, pretty tired too. Um, but I still want to be productive today because we did say we want to be productive pretty much all day. So I think I'm going to use this time moving forward to be creative. Um, I'm going to work on some music here. But yeah, just let the creative juices flow. Yeah, that's a good idea. What are you going to work on? Um, I guess I could start editing this video. <laughs> So for dinner we have some asparagus, then we have some broccoli, which we just threw in the oven uh, with a little bit of salt, pepper, cumin, and then I have some pan-fried salmon over here, crispy on the outside, a little bit raw on the inside, and then some brown rice over here that we made earlier. I hope you enjoyed that video. Give it a thumbs up because it really helps us out. And if you want to see more, click on the red subscribe button down here or the circle up here. Check out our website or check out our Instagram. Links in the description below. And check out these videos over here. We think you might enjoy them. And we'll see you next time.